Hi guys, Belinda here. Welcome back. Today I want to try something a little bit different. I'm doing a little bit of an experiment. So, hopefully it's going to work out. Put my microphone on, that might help. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I must say, I haven't been doing any pours lately. I've been rather sidetracked. Every time I try and do it, it's been sitting here for a while. Something happens, but you know, that's life, I suppose. Right, so, um, I think, <coughs> so the colors I have here, I'm going to start with white. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping that this, this is going to work. So I have uh, white, which is my PBO white. And I also have uh, turquoise. That's turquoise. Might actually, I think I'm going to put a bit more in there, and you will see why. And then I have some beautiful pink, which is Derivan Magenta, and I have Derivan Purple. So I'm actually trying to change my brands. So that would be the magenta. And I'll have here beautiful copper. I'll just show you the consistency. So it's one part paint let me see where are you <laughs> one part paint to two parts of flow trial there's no water in here and then I have the purple and now I'm going to start again and layer my cup again with the light That'll be the white. So essentially I'm going light, dark, light. My brain tells me it's going to work. But you know, sometimes um, we are surprised. And hopefully it'll be a good surprise. I'll just get all that in there. Right. Uh, is my cup going to be big enough? Sure. Looks like it's um, going to overflow, guys. More copper. Whoa. I need to get this purple in. That's uh, that's pretty full. Okay, let's see. Right, so I'm not sure if I want to put anything on the outside yet. Mm. Or maybe I'll just go in with a little bit of this purple. I'm just going to put it down haphazardly. I don't really, I'm not really worried, too worried about how it goes down. Because I'm doing it a bit differently as I see. And then we'll just see 
I'll just see what happens. You'll understand why in a minute. Just spreading that out so that I can get a bit of coverage just over there. All right. <laughs> that makes really nice colors. Okay, let's do this. Now, I want to go. Oh, there's cells popping up there. Wow. No silicone, guys. So, I'm going to go round from the outside. And that is actually looking very awesome. So I'm going to scrape that out. Just to cover my corners. I must say, these colours together are really pretty. I was not expecting them to be so pretty. So this is a um hmm. what size canvas is this? I didn't even check. I think it's probably a 12 by 12 inch. Okay, guys. I'm going to give this a torch. Looks like a 12 by 12 here. Eh? Oh. It's a 14 by 14 inch. It's a bit bigger than what I thought. But look at all those beautiful cells. Not really, I wasn't after the cells. Okay, let's tilt this. I'm also not too keen on going round and round in circles because I don't want to lose my center. So I'm just going to go to the corners. It is already rolling over itself. there. It's looking gorgeous. Let's go back this way. And go off that side. Wow. 
and then take a bit off there because I'm really liking that um, copper it's got little pink cells in it <laughs> says the person who didn't want cells right these colors are amazing I will definitely be using those again together mm, I want to lose that because it's so pretty Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go take it off that end there. It's a shame I lost some of these, this other colour, the, the blue on the edge. That was really pretty. But anyway, you win some, you lose some. Isn't that how the saying goes? And then... Go off there. That. That looks gorgeous. Okay, guys, I don't know if that side's all covered up. Looks like it, hey? <laughs> Sometimes it, I would like you to answer me. <laughs> Okay, that is so pretty. I'm going to give this another torch and I'm going to check my sides and then I'm going to bring you in for a close up. Oh, that is pretty. Okay. Just take that off the edge. Pretty guys. I really like it. So I'm just cleaning up the edges. If you scrape your sides, then um, you will stop it from running and falling off over the edges. Just give this a torch, lots of bubbles. Right guys, I cannot tell you how happy I am with this. I think that this absolutely turned out beautifully. It's so different and so unique. I love the colours. Loving all the cells and the depth. Wow. I will most definitely be doing more of this. I absolutely love it. Wow. Look at that there. It looks like fingers or something. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm really I'm in awe. I think you can hear that, and maybe you understand that or not. So I don't know. But comment below. What do you think? Do you love it? All those cells. Look at all of those cells and that lacing and that detail. I'll show you from this angle like this. I love the center as well and I'll show you from this angle
Okay. And of course, I do have the studio light on, so you might see it following me in a minute. Now, from this end, it actually looks like a wing. Let me take you that side. Uh, show you my mess everywhere. Right, so now we have the light, unfortunately. But look at this. This is all the copper. And it is so bling bling. But you can't see it in this light, sadly. Maybe if I was at that angle, you might. No. But anyway, when it's dry, I will show you what it looks like. Alright guys, um, if you're interested in any of my artwork, you can contact me on withbait at gmail.com. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.